So that's a cardigan that you knitted with your feet? Yes. Um, I'm going through very... You're going to show us how you, how you do it? Okay. Have you ever stabbed yourself? <laughs> yeah. You have. When you're ready, Roy, just tell us your story about, you know, you told me about when you you lived in a long stay hospital. Uh, well, when I was 16, I was living, you know, I was living with, uh, with my mum and dad. And I, I used to go out, they ain't there now, but I used to go out uh, nightclub in Yarmouth. And because my brother David accused me of having a 60 year old girl. And I went to court and the judge didn't believe me in that. And I said, uh, there's my boss's phone number. Or do you ring him where I was? And uh, he said, uh, yeah, I believe you. And then after that, I got, he come in court and you know, I started getting questions, you know, like in a temper. So I was going to track him down the stairs. And uh, he said to me, well, look, we had to put you in a separate room, boy, for a little while. And then, then after that, and I went back in, in Gorkin. They said, well, we have put you in uh, Plum Sorceful to calm you down. I said, fair enough. And then, and I was there, it was uh, four or five years ago, when I was 16, I was on hey, MA, you can, you can't go out, you have to start with if you're in the shop in there, you have to have staff go with you, because you're on, you're on sections and that. Can't go anywhere, really. and uh, and I uh, no, I, I, I've been, I've been, I was there all my life. Uh, you know, I was when, when, when I was sixteen. When they put you in the ice, like the um, side rooms, did that? How many staff took had to? Well, that's all paid. If you get like, um, if you're in the temple, well, there's about four staff to get, take you in there. There's one staff get you on the floor, give you a needle and that, 
and you start killing the body, they said, look, you've got to calm down, you've got to have a needle and that. And I said, I said, no, you, I know, because I said, them, what do you do with that? He said, stick it in the yard. I said, you stick that in me, I said, I said, you go out that front, I said, you go out that side and lean door. And when they st- and, um, they said, uh, one of the staff said, can we have you, can we have you in five minutes? I said, why? So what we got out, he wouldn't have a needle. And then the, what well, uh, the staff sat on me, and they said, boy, you got calm down, boy, are you? I go, no, I'm not. I said, I said, you start, you always said, you start uh, and upsetting me. That's why I got a bit greater. Uh, that's why I got into temper with you. And they said, well, well, we've got to give you, and they give one that side and that side. And when you, and when you come down, you sort of sit there, and when you wake up, you thought, what's that? And then now that, they, they said, they got to see, he said, look, well, if you calm down, you'll be laid out. And uh, so if you get in 10 minutes in the water, we have to give you another needle. And like, uh, you know, do, 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 you know, give me a needle again. I said, no, I said, I'll learn my lesson. I said, if you give me a needle, I'll calm down. And he said, they said, if there's someone upset you, just come knock on the door and say, someone's upset you. And we have word with them. And they got in, you know, and then, and then I was there and I had a word of stuff, um, they pull up, you know, uh, the hospital. And since I've been there, I've come, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that took me, uh, well, that took me, uh, teach me a lesson. You know, took it, uh, you know, like a temper, uh, in the temper now, and, uh, you know, since I've been there, I've gone, you know, I've done my time in there, and then uh, after that, I'm happy now, you know, living there with me, got my sister and that. And I never, you know, I will never go back to them, you know, hospitals again. I was 43 when I was left on the street. And I met this uh, bloke. I was walking by in the morning. He came up to me and said, Well, do you know about Jesus? I went, Jesus? I said, yeah, he, he died on the cross. And then after that, he said, uh, have you never been to church? I went, no, I and, and he and um, he st- and then uh, he uh, said, uh, "Have you been down Kings?" I went, "Hang on, man, the Kings." I said, "They used to be a boxing club, didn't it?" He said, "Yeah, they will pull it down." And um, they said, "Go there." He said, "You're welcome. You may be welcome there." I walked in, and when I said, uh, so I said uh, uh, what's your name? I said, oh, he said, uh, I, want, uh, I said, well, come to you, uh, enjoy you, uh, enjoy your church. And he went, come in and welcome. And I saw Mark, that's when the, that's when the, uh, and I said, uh, but I had to wait for a long wall back. And I said, um, Mark, I said, um, can I be baptized? And he went, what do you mean? I said, uh, I will be back to you because know, they have a war in the, in the king, so, you know, you go down, they have to go down. And he said to me, do you really want to do this for I go, yeah. And then, then after that, I said, uh, they came and he said, boy, you'll be baptized. He said, uh, why you will be baptized? And I said, I will get rid of my own life and have a new life and and that's what you know and they said all right fair enough you can do it i went down there and that's why I, uh, when when the kings i that's why i got back i think uh the king's church what's your full name at the moment? it's um i don't know, I think what it is uh, danielle rain Deliciana, brendan lascelles Sintler, Darnell, and an official Sasha, and then uh, O'Brien, Dua, De Bracken, De Bioli, Della Meads. So it's a triple barrel surname, 38 letters.
dating system? Oh, um, well, it goes. It go. It used to go around the t the terms at Trinity. So <coughs> the Michaelmas term is Rodney. So it starts from there, and which goes right through to fifteen, which gets to Christmas, and then it goes into Kevin. Which is now twelve weeks, and the clocks change on the twelve, and then and then it goes on to the cedar for four weeks. So it's, it's four four weeks for the cedar. Then it's Dan for another twelve, and then John for nine. So it makes the whole year. So, and then the numbers are the first number is uh, the week, the week number like the fourth week, fifth week, and the second number is the day one to one to seven. So, so for instance, that bit where I was doing this, that bit where we were doing before is, is R3581, which I always refer to as R3581, so I know where it is, you know, that's where it was. So. Well, I just, I just like to, to do something of the life to actually, something to say we actually did anything useful instead of just being a waste, instead of just being a, just basically, a total waste. I'd like to do something serious that that people know me by and uh, decent money and be respected for it and enjoy what I'm doing. That's all I want. Did when you when you um, were uh, was it tested for autism? Uh, yes, yeah, 2011. That was yeah. What did that have, did that answer any questions to why? Excuse me. Do certain things or. or I suppose so, yes, but I've always known that I do these sort of things, but I mean, <coughs> I do them and, you know, and they often say there was a book about out about 2000, so well, why does Chris do that? I don't know if you've never heard of that, but it's about autism, but I always have my own line. I've heard Chris did it because Chris wanted to do it, and that's what I do. If I want to do it, he'll do it, and that, that, you know, and to hell with it, it's going to be done, and that's all there is to it. I just like to do something with my life and be a success for a bit, that's all. So that I can put all these ideas and these colours in, into some sort of way that people can actually see it and I can say, well, this is what I do, you know, and this is what it is and are there, are there any other people out there that do that? I'd like to be able to do that, have, have connection with other people and see what they, what they, what colours they produce. Because it's always going to be different, every autistic person is different. Thank mm -hmm. you.